Donald Trump's campaign is like the man himself, unorthodox and so far successful. Take his attacks on his Republican rivals. They appear to be off the cuff, but after traveling with the billionaire businessman behind the scenes, it's clear that these attacks are in fact highly calculated and usually plotted by him alone. I chatted with Mr. Trump about his campaign and his strategic thinking before he took the stage on January 19th with his newest endorsement, Sarah Palin in Ames, Iowa. I was with you in September before everyone was acknowledging you're the front runner. And you were, you were making your message on your own, clearly. Now you're just a few days from Iowa. You're still making your own message yourself. You're the right. mastermind of your message. You now have 150 people in 20 states. But I don't see any new, I've been with you the last two days, there are no new people telling you what to say. Well, Why we, is that? We do have, Monica, we do have a very big staff of people. We're in Iowa now. You see the kind of crowds we're getting. It's been amazing. And we do have a lot of people, but I do like to make up my own mind as to what I want to say. I don't do it because I think it's going to be popular or unpopular. Okay. I'm self-funding my own campaign, so I don't have to worry about somebody saying, oh, gee, you shouldn't say this or that because, you know, we gave you big contributions. I'm just doing it because I'm doing it from the heart and the brain, but I'm doing it from the heart. and. Uh, some of it resonates. I guess a lot of it resonates. But are, do you think you're haphazard or no. are you very strategic? Well, I think I'm strategic, but I'm really just trying to do the right thing. I'm trying to say the right thing. And interestingly, a lot of people say that's what everybody's thinking, but nobody wants to say it. And have you noticed yeah. that a lot of what you do say becomes the issue driver of that week? Well, Why at first, that? it's very, very like, oh, we have to stay away. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, like the wall, all of a sudden, everyone said, we have to build a wall. When I said build a wall, everybody said, you got to be kidding. Now they're all saying, we're going to build a wall. I heard the other day, one of the candidates say, we're going to build a wall. I said, where did that come from? So it's sort of interesting how oftentimes, including the Muslim situation, people are now saying, and a lot of Muslims, I have great friends that are Muslims, and they call me up, they said, you've done a great favor because you're opening a dialogue into this incredible hatred on behalf of some and they know you have to get to the bottom of it we can't go on like this so it's been amazing a lot of times i'll say something and for two weeks it's like oh and then all of a sudden and now and they're sure you're going to be doomed doomed i'm going to be doomed for what but a lot of times you say these things that oh. are so controversial they'll say this has got to be the end well, that's happened about six times this is yeah. the end and then yeah. about two weeks later polls come out and i go up 11 exactly. points you know people don't understand it but I'm really doing what's right. I'm doing and saying what I have to say because, look, our country's in deep trouble. And, you know, my whole theme, make, make America great again. It's my whole theme. And we want to make America great again. So I'm doing the right thing. When, when we were in the car a few minutes ago, you said, when you go into war, you do have strong opinions. And I guess that's what you're doing. You're just, like, giving your strong opinions and finding they're resonating. What is it? The advantage I have is I don't have special interests and lobbyists and donors telling me what to do. You know, a lot of these people have donors and special interests and lobbyists telling them exactly what to say, what to do. They give, like a Jeb Bush, they give millions of dollars. They give Hillary millions of dollars. They give Ted Cruz millions and millions of dollars. And they can't say things that is, you know, really, unless it converges with what these people want. Whereas me, I'm just going to do the right thing. If now, it doesn't work, that's okay. But I'm, I'm going to do the right thing. Now, do you think that a lot of what's in your mind often comes out as negative, or do you think it's positive? Which, which I way? I think ultimately it comes out positive. I talked about illegal immigration. It sounded very negative. Two weeks later, everybody was on the bandwagon. So I think a lot of times it sounds negative, but ultimately it becomes positive.